In one of my previous videos, I already told you why exactly do you see terrible games end up on Roblox's front page. So to fix that problem, I'm gonna tell you how to enjoy Roblox. And you know what's the best part? We're gonna do it very fast. So let's start, shall we? Let's go! If you went into YouTube search and typed Roblox, you probably got very disappointed. So all you have to do is find a few good YouTubers to fix your YouTube algorithm. So of course, it's my pleasure to give you a few YouTubers that you will absolutely love. So right now I'm going to show you 6 great YouTubers that you should absolutely watch. First, we have a very new YouTuber named Dior. He covers many games in a documentary in a funny style, supplemented with a great editing. Next, we have a YouTuber that is very different from Dior, and his name is Saint Priesta. A YouTuber that is actually very interesting to watch, even if he doesn't have any extraordinary editing. In the past couple of weeks, I've been collecting some of Roblox's most interesting games. Next, we have Bradian, a content creator with a great variety of content and topics that he covers in a funny, but still manner. He's genuinely unplayable. Next, we have a quite different YouTuber, and his name is Eclipse, a YouTuber who criticizes every single anime game on the platform and is outlining features his personality and general humor. No, you did it! Next, we have a YouTuber that is drastically different from Eclipse, and his name is Toasted Cherries. A YouTuber with excellent storytelling skills and a very good editing, but his most distinct feature, in my opinion, is the very calm manner of his videos. Throughout Roblox's history. But if you didn't find what you like, the only thing I can recommend you is searching for Roblox on YouTube and clicking on as many interesting videos as possible. So, now you know what to do when you're not playing Roblox, but then you log in and... What's next exactly? Well, uh, finding friends, of course. If you thought to go into Hangout Games to find great friends, that is actually a great decision, but only in a few games. It's especially 17 plus. Once you do happen to find a group of people, or at least one person, the rest is very easy. Just don't be annoying or weird. <laughs> Seriously, it's not that hard, and if people seem to be comfortable around you, you're doing a very great job. However, if people seem uncomfortable talking to you, just leave them and think about why. It's perfectly fine if you didn't resonate with some people, but if you are being weird, you will not find anyone. However, hangout games are not the only thing you can play. Some of the genres, like horror and adventure games, are best for strengthening relationships with people, since we experience emotions together. <laughs> While some, like hangout games, are best to find people to begin with. There are a ton of genres for you and your friends to enjoy, and one of the most notable ones besides horror and hangout games would be shooter games, since we also tend to experience emotions there. It's quite hard to find a good one nowadays, but Glare is just one of those games that for whatever reason is stupidly good. The game features a giant variety of basically everything, and it is going to be great for everyone. Because if you're a tactical person, you can equip your guns with a ton of attachments, but if you're against that, just get a damn helicopter and start shooting people. There is so much in this game that I can't even begin to describe it, but I would love to know the great variety of very interesting game modes and also maps to play on. If you are on a mobile or anything else other than PC, it's no problem. Game fully supports all of the platforms, but probably not VR, and also has a great variety of settings, so you can tailor the experience to your liking. By the way, it was a sponsorship if you couldn't tell, but go play Glare, because this game is very good, and I never advertise bad games. I would feel bad doing that. Now that you have found some people to play games with, you may be asking me, how exactly do we find good games to play, though? Well, it's actually much easier than you thought it was. Personally, I have about three sources that can help me get very good games to play. So, I'll rank them from least useful to most useful, and you will finally learn where I get all of my games. First, and one of the easiest ways to get Roblox games is by finding Roblox's underrated games Twitter account, where they post many different unusual games to play, ranging from horrors to adventure games. Personally, I don't get many games from there, as I don't find them interesting, but you should absolutely check them out. Second most useful option to obtain great games is Roblox's recommendation. And before you start yelling at me, let me tell you that recommendations are an insanely powerful tool, but only if you have played enough good games for Roblox to catch on what you like. Personally, I found numerous games that I absolutely loved through this exact way, but it's all thanks to the next method that shaped my recommendation system like that, and that is watching YouTube videos and playing the game called Better Discovery on Roblox. First, let's talk about YouTube videos. It may sound simple, but there's actually only about a dozen channels who are very good at showing great Roblox games. One of them will be the Gaspers AM, or whatever his name is, I really don't know. A YouTuber who is an absolute goldmine for horror game enjoyers. And in the Roblox game called Better Discovery, you can find absolutely any genre of the games you could ever want. And surprisingly, there are a lot of good games there, so you're absolutely bound to find something interesting. Now that you have great videos to watch, friends to play games with, and actual games to actually enjoy, you may still be left wondering, what do I exactly do with all of this? Well, you have to understand that I made this video to help you find enjoyment in Roblox, but these things I described are not the only ones that can bring you happiness. So just explore new stuff and be kind to people, and enjoy Roblox to its fullest potential. What the hell is this a comment to Viberbread's video? Hey guys, you should subscribe to him for that.